With all builds, there's a certain amount of time and effort that goes into it. Before you start, you must know the essentials. In this week's episode, we go over the fundamentals of building both paths and roads. We will cover block palettes, lines and curves, frequency, and how a time period can affect the build. First, we will go over the basics of paths. Being different from roads in the uniformity, paths are more organic and while still following a basic shape, you'll want it to reflect its environment more than a road would. For this, you will need to look at where you want this path to lead and where it's located. Last week, we covered both environment as well as how it affects the block palette. Using that same technique, you will want to carefully pick a block palette that complements the areas around it. After you have picked your block palette, go ahead and define the curvature of the path. Then, add to the road with more of the base block of your choice. After you've done this, you will want to pick one or more different blocks to give its frequency. You can decide frequency by how many of a specific block you put into the path or road. When you are finished, you may want to put some fence in to strengthen the path following effect, but make sure not to overdo it so that the people walking on the path feel free to move around. In this western set I'm working on, I focused on a couple of different key concepts for the road. Like the last path I showed you, I took into account both lines and frequency, but I also focused on how old and how used the path would be. This path can also be considered a road, but it is not as uniformed as a traditional one would be. Now, we will be going over roads. Roads in general are much more uniform and typically have a cleaner look as well. Like before, you will want to pick a good block palette, but for roads, environment is a smaller factor to think about. You will also want to think about a time period which defines the style of road you want. For an older road, you will probably want to do a little research first. Some older roads were cobblestone, and some had an early gutter system on the sides. These roads will either be brand new or will be used often, and you will want it to reflect that with a frequency of some broken blocks or not. With a more modern road, you will want it to be a very simple block palette. They also will have high maintenance regularly, so there's no need for any frequency other than the normal block palette for these types of roads. For some good examples of this style of road, I suggest taking a look at the World of Corrales server. The server is focused around modernistic builds, and the roads are everywhere. The IP will be both on the screen and in the description. That's it for this episode, but you can watch the last episode here. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more of my content. Also, feel free to leave a comment below for a suggestion for the next episode. The plan is about an episode once every week or two from now on. Thanks for watching.